All right, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, these are not what you think they are. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys putting this together. I've got a few more pieces, and uh, I think what I'm gonna do um, is gonna work. So I'm excited to show you this later on in the vlog. So hopefully I got something for the pig. You wanna help me get it? Yeah. All right, let's go, it's in the truck. Okay. This? Okay. That right there, yeah. That's for the pig, so we start putting their food in there. Yeah. Hey, so welcome back to the vlog. I just got off work. We ate some dinner and uh, now we're gonna go out here and feed the pigs um, Don't really have a whole lot going on today. Hayden vlogged a little bit for me um, So I don't know what she got um, vlog. So I'm gonna show you guys that right now and Then I'll be back in just a minute. So I hope you guys enjoy her little vlog episode Brown is all the, here. So all the, let me help you So I'm gonna do something. So I, I, follow this. I know, but I'm gonna do something. So I'm gonna put a little bit of brown on each part. So you're gonna put that entire thing brown I'm gonna color all the fours with any green. Okay, so four, zero, four. Okay. Five is purple. And then six is yellow. You see yellow? You see tell me where the sixes are. Okay, what's other six? Seven is orange. Right, you do that, okay? That yellow doesn't show up good. Okay, do it, do it differently. Do it the same. There you go. Got carpet. Hi, Ben. Hi, Gabby, Gabby. Shot, don't you? Oh, you have to hang on your face. You just want to be on the camera, don't you? You're a little superstar. Superstar. So we heard some chirping. We called Dutch, and he said to go ahead and take the egg turner out. Although we already have one chick who's hatched, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Move, 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 so I don't drop this. Oh, saw first was just born too because it's still wet yeah do we need a helper no it's okay see she was just born because look at her little feety they're still like kind of here come here okay so i'm sure she did a good job she's always doing a good job and i uh, appreciate her helping out with the with the animals and all that stuff we're, oh we gotta we're gonna clean out the um uh, the chicken too, the little chicken meat birds. I'll show you those. Uh, they're flirting to fly out, so I'm actually just going to clean out the whole thing, um, and we'll talk a little bit about what I'm going to do with them. And then you probably seen the little baby chicks that started uh, hatching. Uh, we'll probably go back in there and see if any more hatch. Cause that was earlier this afternoon that Hayden filmed that. So um, they did tell me they were going to film that. So we'll we'll go back. We'll do our chores. Uh, then we'll go inside Hayden. a little bit, and uh, then we'll work on that chicken this feeder. I think the chicken feeder is going to look awesome. What are you doing, Gracie and Gabby? Kelly, you think it's snowing? It was snowing. Daniel said it was snowing in his house this morning. It was. Brandy, you cold? Where's your Where's your little hat? You need a hat. All the other, the girls got one. I'm wearing her hat because she wants to bob for corn. Uh. Oh, uh, the dogs want it. You give them a piece of steak. Gracie, come here. Start on the ground. Maybe. Oh, Hopi. Yeah. Hopi, what you got? That for the pigs? Yeah. All right, let's go. Hi, Gabby. Don't go through that. My hands are yeah, cold. they walk through the mud just because they got boots on. That's all right. I always do that. Hey, that's why you got boots on. <laughs> just from the fence. Did you guys gave them any grain today? No. No. All right. She's hitting the mineral up now. I'm gonna give them a little bit. Hayden, will you uh, dump that out? Yeah. 
and get closer to the fence over here. These babies are about to get weaned. I seen that big, that's the boy right there, Marnie, the buck. He it was big, as big as mom. It's as big as his mom. It's still we're nursing. We miss Coco, don't we? Yeah. Was that Coco? Yes. Hey, Hallie, can you go in there and dump that one over? They're all sitting in the boat. What? Our babies can't fit through anymore. I remember when we were driving and Abe followed us all the way down there. Abe did? Where's Abe at? He's right there. He's so Really? Can you put some right there for her? She wants some. She's stuck. They're trying to fit. They're not. They can't. It's good. Leave it by her head. Just, she's fine. Just put it down right there, Hadley. Yeah, Hadley, put it against the fence, Hadley. Put it against the fence. What's wrong with them? He might be molting. Guys, he's losing a lot of feathers on his chest. Maybe yeah. he, everybody can Hadley, bite. Hadley, hold this because you have gloves on. If I pick him up, is he going to bite me because he's molting? No, no, look at him. No, they're molting, sis. Like it hurts. See, his chest is pink. Yeah, it's, uh, he's losing some feathers. That might be part of the mating ritual. It's kind of their breeding season right now. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I've never raised a turkey before. She wants to pick him up. It could be uh, molting like chickens. I don't know. You know what, guys? What? If you get a turkey, if you grab one of those feathers, you can probably make a pin. Uh, oh, can you? Stick a pin on it, probably. That's why Abe Lincoln used to use one of those pins. Yeah, I know. That's why his name Abe. All right, let's check on the pigs. They're hungry. They want some scraps. Which they shouldn't be hungry because they got plenty of feed. And this was fun today. Well, that's, we kind of cleaned the refrigerator out. You can see just how small that one is compared to the rest of the other two. That one right there is ginormous. Their root, hey, let's put that over here. Let's put put that right there by their finger. Right here. So they're rooting. That'll work. That's fine. Right there. You need to build a little pig. Oh, right there. This? Yeah. Yep. We're going to put the food in it. Watch out. They're like, hey, that's not a very nice trick. Oh, oh Hadley just gave them a corn bath. <laughs> they're going to like that. They need a bath. <laughs> they they do. They actually look pretty clean. Guys, what if they try to eat on top of his head? Yeah. <laughs> Well, the egg will, yeah, some it. corn dogs and some I'll hamburgers. Eat. I like that. Some apples. Tyler, yeah. you want to fill that water up? Corn. You guys are. Come on. Come on. Hi, Dave. Come on. I love eggs. Put your hands in your pocket. They're going to the water. Okay. They're definitely like me. Hey, don't give him that feed, babe. Okay. Do what, Hayden? He's the little one. What's we what do you say? It's weaning. Tell her what weaning is, Randy. Like when they quit drinking yeah. milk. Yeah. Look at Abe. Abe's just strutting around. He follows us in Watch. the van. I'm gonna touch yeah. his head. It feels lordy. Be he don't make like quick movements, Hadley. Like walk slow. Like this. He looks, he looks mm -hmm. He's running from her. Well no, he just <laughs> Well, I need to do a cartwheel. Okay, do a cartwheel. You and then I'll do mine, guys. No, no one wants to see yours. Yeah, they just, do. Just hopes. No. no. Okay. Oh, you okay? Yeah. Good heard, job. Oh, yeah. here comes Abe. You better get up. <laughs> you better get up. What? Somebody's going to pick you up. He's heavy. Oh, my. Guys. I, mean, I don't know about that. Hey. I love hey. you. Okay, you want to do one? Okay, once you do one, then Mom's got to do one. No. I need to do my boots. Do okay. what? Do Oh, not bad. You about, land on, like you about land on top of a goat. You about to rode a goat. Whoa, whoa. Can I take off my boots? No, it's dirty out here. There's goat poop and pee everywhere. All right, Hallie, you, should, you can do yours. Oh, this is scary. Hey, good job. Is that look, your handstand? Look at my handstand. That was Hallie's. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's enough. Not really? See, Abe, Abe, you're all blue now. <laughs> So the pigs like their new little uh, trough thing I got for them. Brandy says things out here. Uh, we've been raising pigs for going on seven or eight years now. They always stink. Uh, but yeah, they're going crazy over the scraps. I'm going to check their food, see how much I ate today. Uh, it was 31 degrees this morning, so it's been cold. They've ate quite a bit. Let me show you. So they've ate, I don't know, a quarter of it. So that was 50 pounds. They probably ate 15 pounds or so. But they're liking the scraps. The only problem I have with that, I don't want to end it up over there. 
So we'll leave it right there for now. If I come back and it's kind of starting to go that way, um, then I might just tie it down to the fence or something. And uh, we'll end up using that trough too here before too long. Because I'm pretty sure that pig can reach that. Okay, so you guys, if you guys watched yesterday's video, we lost uh, one of our favorite goats. This is my favorite uh, goat, Coco. She's the one that had the banjo on the side. Look like a banjo. Um, but we're watching these other ones, and they look just fine. She did too the day before. Then we came out. You can see that one just going to town. <laughs> it's crazy. It's a sad, it's sad to lose animals, um, but it's kind of just part of it. Oh, did you get camera shy? Did you well, get camera especially shy? Especially we don't have like 50 of them. Yeah. We have five moms. So you so get attached to them. know which ones they are. <laughs> they will not let That's me touch them. That's another duo right there. Hey, go get that ball, Hadley. So they're doing good. I mean, I, I just have no idea what happened to Where's her. her baby? She's the big, one. the big one. Look how big the boy is over there. He's just as big as his mom. That's not his mom, I don't think. Yeah, it is. Oh, is it? So he's not as big as her, but no, he's but as he's big as some of them. No, but he's pretty freaking close. What's Coco? Look at Gracie Coco's just hanging mom. out, looking at him like, come on, someone come over Where's here. Coco's mom? Gracie looks like a wolf hey. about to pounce on someone. <laughs> Who's Coco's baby? Is that white one? Oh, they're fighting. Hadley! Hadley, that thing's big as you. I love oh, it. Oh, Abe yes. and her are fighting? No, they're she, fighting? She's <laughs> picking it up. I picked Abe, it up. You're Abe's favorite. He likes you the most. Yeah, I love him. Because he was red when we came out, and now he's all blue. Because he likes I think likes he gets in good mood when we come out here. <laughs> you know, I pick him up, I'm scared. You're scared to pick him up? Watch, watch. Well, how do you do it? Let Hadley do it. Hallie How do like, you pick him up? Hallie's yeah. Like the animal whisperer. Well, his claws are big. Can <laughs> I pick him up? Hold him. Weighs yeah. as much as you hope. Maybe let me do it. Ah! Hope you could probably ride him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, let's go over for you guys to fall down. And he hit fall. me in the face. Hey, Abe. Ah! He, he follows us all the whole time we're driving. Oh, they're fighting over that food over there. Look at him. <laughs> they ate it all. I uh, love hey, let's Abe. go clean out the uh, chicken. I love Abe. <laughs> this is when you go get the eggs. Okay, we'll Bye get the Abe. eggs. Hope, go get the basket real fast. We'll meet you out there. It's a guess. Sorry, guess. I think there's um seven. Eight. I think there's eight. Eight. I was going to say seven. Hope took mine. I'm going to say six. Okay. Hey, let, let me, me, let me, let me count it. <laughs> it's, just eight. it's just Sue. Sue. Get I here, Sue. Let me eight. count them. One. Grab it. I can't reach it. I can't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, eight. I got it right. It's eight. I said eight. eight. No, you, you said you six. Said six. You're, little, you're no, a little no, liar, Dad. <laughs> He's chasing him. Oh my God. I'm going to catch him. guy's mane. I'm gonna put him up for a few days and um, we gotta get him moved over we just don't have the setup for him uh, to move them over yet but uh, he's not mean to actually us unless you get in here and try to catch him um, but he's mean to Sue. We're gonna let Sue run around. Is Sue okay? Yeah Sue's fine. Okay, there's Sue look he's like oh what's going on? Okay can I open the cage? Yeah I'm gonna put him right here babe. You are? Yeah. In here? Right. Sue's going out now. So funny how how he knows. Can I get out? No, watch. Okay. Watch. Close that. Close it? Yep. Do I lock it? Yep. <laughs> Does he got water? Uh, yeah. Okay, he's got How do I get it? <laughs> Phil, like, get, get, yeah, you guys need to fill this up with the regular food. Uh, we'll get some better living arrangements <laughs> soon. Soon. Yep, one of those and then one of the other kind. Okay. Do you know how to put it in? Yeah. Where? No, the other kind. Come here. Holly, come here. Do I shut 
shut the door, Dad? Hold on. Yeah. Yes. You guys put it on that rock? Yeah. yeah. Let's go get the quail eggs. Uh, yeah, he is not he is not happy one bit, but that's fine. Um, that's fine. <laughs> you can see Sue was Sue's hungry and thirsty. And uh, it's time for him to be the be the pack leader now. I'm not gonna put um, them back together. Uh, within the next few days, I'm gonna be moving uh, probably all these little hens to a, a different position, different spot. The little hens are fine. It's just the rooster. Get some more, throw some more, Heather. Put, I'll, I'll spread it out and just get some more. You can see they like the, what babe? I'm going to put them in the eating bag. Yeah, once we get enough. They like the grass that we stick in there. Old hay yeah, actually. I would love to get those quails over here by the chicken house sometime. That way it's just way more convenient to feed everything at one time instead of walking way over there. They'd be easy to forget about, I'm telling you. Uh, so yeah, let's go in here and check on these ugly little chickens. And I'll show you just how big they're getting. They're getting huge. Uh, you probably seen them earlier and Hayden was uh, feeding them, but we're gonna, we're gonna move them out of uh, one spot and clean it all out and then put them back and just clean everything up. And I'll show you guys the process of raising these meat birds. Day 19 of 21. I got some I got some plants right there that are just wanting to be planted. Bad, bad, bad. As soon as this cold front goes away, I'm planting those. Can you turn our light on, Heather? We're gonna clean it. It's that first one. Look okay. Gabby. We're gonna clean it anyways. Yep, that first one. Alright, let's get this stuff out of the way. Hope I need you to move those two little ones over can, here can by the hot tub. Inside? Here I'll I'll put these for the hot tub. Put them right here. Put them right there on the ground. Move the bucket. You can see um, I was just going to continue to put the do the deep uh, bed method on these, but it's starting to get pretty big, pretty tall. Uh, so I'm just going to clean them all out, and this will probably be the only time I clean them before. So we'll move them uh, within the next week, probably this weekend. We'll move them out to the chicken tractor. Okay, what you guys can do is put all the chickens over here on this side. On that side. You can put all the chickens over there, so I'm going to clean this one. Right, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, these are not what you think they are. These aren't just the cute, uh, adorable little chickens that you hatch. These are like mutants. They grow so fast. Well, these are eight or nine days old, 10 days old, and they're already starting to feather out. And uh, within the next week, this weekend, I'm gonna have them probably out in their chicken tractor and they're not even gonna look the same. They, as, as they get, each week they go, goes by, they just get bigger, bigger, bigger. I mean, they get huge. Within six to eight weeks, these will be in the, these will be in the deep freezer. I'm telling you, they're not the cute little chickens that you think they are when they first come out. When they weren't like that big, yeah. But they're eight, nine days old, look how big these are. 
That's not normal. <laughs> it's not normal. Uh, but we're just feeding a, just a local grain um, that we get from the feed store. So we're not putting any uh, any other like chemicals or uh, steroids or anything like that to make them grow bigger. They're just bred um, to naturally grow. They get really big breast and um, they're really, really good. Uh, these, I prefer these over the Rainbow Rangers any day. Uh, so yeah, not what you think. These things will get so big. Um, I've heard rumors of them actually breaking their legs. They get so big, their legs break. I've never had that experience. This is the second batch of 50 I've done. I think I did, well, I did 30 before. Um, this is the first batch of 50. This is the second go around with these, um, and the first ones didn't get that big. They got big, um, but they're not so big where their legs break or anything like that. So I'm not really too concerned about that. But they are starting to jump out of the brooder um, just because they're big. They need to be in a, in a bigger, taller brooder or out in the cage. But right now, this is what we got for them. Um, so I'm going to set up um, some netting that I got to keep them flying out. I'll show you that real quick. Okay, I don't know if you can see it very good, but that should keep me in. I just felt out and it's gonna get too hot for the screen. It's kind of like a metal mesh, um, just kind of nylonish things. So it's, I think it's gonna be just fine. Keep on. Anyways, that's gonna keep them in. They're not gonna jump out. They could possibly jump on the end, but what they're doing is they're jumping up there. You can see that one jumping up, and then they're jumping out. So I think we're good to go. Okay, if you're looking to get meat chickens, I think they're actually kind of far out, but uh, as, as order dates, I got these from Myers Hatchery. I, they're not, they didn't tell me to promote them. I just don't even know I have a YouTube channel. Um, but I got these from Myers Hatchery. It's where I've got all my uh, meat birds from. Always had great luck with them. I think the the Rainbow Rangers maybe won. No, I think I think all those came back alive too. I think I, I did. They do really good um, shipping them and stuff. So if you're interested in some meat chickens, these are the Jumbo Cornish Cross, um, the White Jumbo Cornish Cross. And I'm telling you, these are the ones to get. If you're if you've never got meat chicken before and you're wanting to get them, get these ones because you will not be disappointed. I'm telling you, some people may have a lot of luck with the Rainbow Rangers. Um, they just did not they don't grow no don't your expectations better not be the same as they are for these um because they they'll tell you on their site too that these are just a slow slower growing i think we had those for 12 or 13 weeks compared to six to eight weeks on these and um <laughs> these ones were way bigger than the 12 13 week ones and uh, just hardly no breast meat on them it was just one of them things like probably won't go back to those i'll just continue to do these and you guys will see over the weeks as these get bigger you're going to be amazed at how big these get how quick they get that big and how much uh, chicken meat we'll get whenever the processing date comes so yeah so that'd be cool to watch too because i actually bought a new chicken plucker for my rainbow rangers um last fall and uh, we'll be using that so it's pretty it's pretty makes makes your work a lot easier all right let's go in there into the garage into my office <laughs> and let's build this finish building that little uh chicken feeder that five gallon chicken feeder because i got i got took some advice from you guys um thanks a lot if you guys left comments because I, I went through most of them and uh thank thank you for that because it gave me some great ideas and also brandy was uh brandy Brandy was um, reading the comments of today's video, which is be tomorrow now. Um, she's wanting to tell you all something about um, the vet and all that. Oh, that I knew people had been concerned about taking her to the today's vet. Today's video? Yeah, about taking Coco to the vet. But, like, I've seen people and animals in that shape, and there's really no They're going back, back from yeah. that. And that's what I was trying to explain to the girls, that taking her to the doctor wouldn't do anything. We just didn't want her to suffer. And right now with everything going on, the vets around, it says like curbside assistance. And I mean, like, they're not going to come out here and check on like she one was, goat. Yeah, she was like, on her, she was done. Like this. Yeah. So yeah, and I think a lot of them too were taken to the vet to make sure there's nothing wrong because that can pass on yeah, to the Yeah, that goats, could, yeah. Which I don't think there is, but yeah. All right, thank you. What do you think about these meat chickens? They're getting <laughs> huge. <laughs> Crazy, huh? They were cute. That's why I got about these saying. About a week ago. They're not cute like everyone think they are. They're no. not the cute little ones. No. They are on their puff balls. Yep. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my office. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you guys gave me a lot of good advice. Uh, one of, someone said get these little electrical nuts right here. Let's see here. The um, bushing, the plastic bushings. And uh, that's a pretty good idea because it cuts down on uh, the extra height inside there. And now all I got to do, let me find it, let me find it. It's somewhere. Which one is it? Where's it at? What do I do with it? I got one I need to show you. Right here. 
So we stick it inside that hole, inside the that two of them on there already. And think, yeah. So, and you, and you stick this inside the bucket and you just screw it on there. Just like that. It actually works really good. So uh, we'll do that. I'm gonna cut these down probably to, up to a foot. And uh, I'll show you guys putting them putting them together. Um, you all suggested get the 22, I think that's 22 and a half maybe. Something like that, um, angle. What we're gonna do is stick them on there just like that. And then um, when, when if it all works and I'm done feeding, I got caps, I could just put the caps over them. Right over the leg. So that's, that's the whole thing with this feeder is I'm wanting to um, have it a tripod setting where it, it feeds and I don't care if it's on the ground or not. The chickens will clean that up and whatever the chickens don't get, the little mice will get. I don't, I don't really care about that. Um, I don't care to put a pan or nothing. I want this where I could pick it up and move it if I need to, get, take it out really simple and uh, it'll have three areas for them to feed where they're not all just... If you never raise meat chicken, I'm telling you right now, they all just attack, just attack one spot. Um, so this they call, they can attack three spots and it won't be as bad on them. So hopefully this works, hopefully this works. Um, so I'm gonna cut these. Um, I'll do a, like a fast forward and show you guys putting it all together and uh, we'll, see what, we'll see what we think. You can kind of put these on how you want, I guess, because they'll just make it rotate. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, it's kind of flimsy. So, the next step is how to make it. I need to put, I need to put something in between there. Hey, we're getting there though. This will definitely work. Maybe a 90 might have been a little bit better. Maybe. But once you get the feet in there, it might actually work really well. The concept's there, the concept's there. Getting this tight is the issue. Maybe I need to bring it a little bit shorter. I don't know. See, and that can just go on there just like that. Let's see what you guys think. Let's take it out in the yard just to look at it. Okay. I still think the legs are too tall. But that could work. It's too tall. I don't like how tall it is. I think I need to cut it down probably about another five inches or so. I think I think it'll work, don't you, Gabby? I think it'll work. Just gotta tweak it a little bit, get it a little tighter. Give me some more suggestions down below. You guys helped me out a lot with the last ones. Um, so I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to me and Gabby, huh, Gabby? We love you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video. Say bye, Gabby. Bye, Gabby. Oh, don't kiss me. <laughs>